recently god started speaking to me about my next assignment which is as regards the marketplace ministry god said he's going to be showing me from time to time you know um, how i'm going to incorporate this world into the marketplace industry for businesses for professionals for organizations and the likes and so you're going to be seeing more of this kind of videos here from time to time and i'm going to encourage everyone every creative out there every business professionals out there that you should subscribe to my youtube channel so you don't miss out of every of the message that god asked for us because i'm also going to benefit from this i'm not just limiting it to the people but i want to be a beneficiary also all right so today i'm going to be talking about identity in the marketplace i see this as a real problem because i myself have also experienced it i mean if you're feeling frustrated consistently you're feeling like you're not good enough you've tried everything that people the tips and everything online but it seems like they are not working out for you you keep seeing your friends doing the same thing that you've wanted to do but yours is not working out the way you expected it and you're feeling frustrated you're feeling anger you're feeling bitterness you feel like it's like god has forgotten me god does not have plans for me god just hates me if you have that kind of thought i'm not here to condemn you because i've been there also i've been in your shoe also so i'm not here to condemn you but i just want you to realize that there is problem with your identity and that is where we need to get to the root of that we need to get to the root of that if you don't get to the root of who you are in christ your identity in god these things may con may continually happen yes it may go for a while maybe if you find um your identity maybe you start getting some money you'll find pleasure in that for a short period of time but trust me it's it's it won't be long that you still go back to the same cycle so why not just break it once and for all get rooted in your identity and so that you can stand strong and show up relevantly in the marketplace all right so the topic is identity in the marketplace right and if you look at what is happening in these days in the professional world sometimes you find people switching from one skills to another somebody will be in finance today tomorrow switching to business switching to engineering people are just frustrated everywhere and some people will be like they are some people this leads them into depression into anxiety worrying over time all these things are not normal you know we have to come to the understanding that things are more spiritual than natural trust me there are things before something manifests in the physical it has happened in the spiritual so don't just take everything with levity and don't just think that it happens it's, it's a normal thing no depression is not normal frustration is not normal anger anxiety they are not normal you know it is not normal this things has led a lot of people to have a mental problem mental issues and a lot of it some people have been taking their lives so it is not normal that is not normal and that is why you have to come across this video because god wants to do something in you and through you right identity is very important and before you can know your identity you have to be rooted in god because your identity can only be found in god your identity is not in the amount of money you make it's not in your in your um your title your identity is not for your background where you came from your industry or whatever people call you that is not your identity your identity is rooted in god and that is just it if you look at the story of gideon the bible six or seven i'm going to drop it on the screen and you know gideon used to be a very shy guy a guy that had low self-esteem a very timid guy someone that could not even speak up for himself because from the bible we saw that gideon was stretching with in, in a cover in a place that nobody could see him he was trying to make uh, you know ends meet for himself but he was doing it in covering he was scared of the Midianites because the Midianites has you know been oppressing the Israelites for a long time now and he is also among the Israelites so he was a timid guy a shy guy and he was always doing things in the covering you know and why doing it in the covering he was constantly frustrated because how did I know when the angel of the Lord encountered Gideon the first angel of the Lord the first thing the angel of the Lord called Gideon was oh ye man of mighty valor and that will lead me to the first point when you encounter god god is going to call you by your real name and that is your identity in god oh you man of mighty valor that means great warrior that was who gideon was in god not a timid and shy and frustrated guy that he was living in the physical in the spiritual he was a mighty man of, of valor a warrior not a timid guy so some of you, you are living less than what god has called you to be you are living lesser than your identity your identity in god is to be a global voice your identity in god is to be a, a a solution provider you are supposed to be in the marketplace in your different sphere of influence doing great things for the lord but the enemy is trying to you know confine you to a small space small thinking limited thought 
And you need to break out of that. And that comes by knowing your identity in God. When the angel of the Lord encountered Gideon, he called Gideon by his name. Oh, ye man of mighty valor, period. That is who you are in Christ. Whatever God calls you when you encounter him, that is who you are in God. That is who you are in God. And when the angel of the Lord encountered Gideon, Gideon was like, oh, so you know all that is, uh, uh, so you people could watch all this happening to us in Israel. The Midianite, you know, inflate, you know, troubles in us, inflate pains and all likes in us, and you're watching us. And the angel, and the angel of the Lord was like, but I've called you. God has called you to, to deliver this people from the same problem. You can imagine carrying solutions for a nation in your womb. You can imagine carrying so much on the inside of you and you are playing small. Gideon played small because he did not know who he was in God. He did not know his identity. And he never knew that the solution to the problem of the Israel lies in him. It was in him to deliver the Israelite from that problem. And he was complaining about the same problem. Could it be that the same thing you are complaining about is what God has called you to deliver? Could it be that the same problem that you keep seeing that keep coming to your thought all the time, God has already placed the solution on the inside of you. The same thing that keeps frustrating you, that you keep wondering, why are people going through this? Why is it that this thing is happening? Could it be that God has called you to deliver the same thing? Because that was the case of Gideon. Gideon was complaining about the very thing that he was called to do. And that's the second thing that happened. Number one, God will call you by your true name. Number two, that thing that you have been complaining about could be what God has called you to solve. And if you look at the later, later end of Gideon, God gave Gideon steps and directions to take to deliver the Israelites. The solution that you are looking for is still in God. If God has called you to do something, he's the one that can lead you to fulfill it. Trust me, the person that created iPhone knows how to go about the iPhone, you know, Samsung, different creators, they know how to do it. And that's why they give you manual and anytime there is an update they will also let you know the update imagine if you are not following them or you you, you, you choose to neglect the update that they give you your phone or your devices may have problem same with god the creator knows what he puts on the inside of you he knows that okay this is the latest update because your purpose unravels in levels in dimensions there are dimensions that you can't undo now but will be unraveled later it is you know it is a step by step precept upon precept line upon line you have to take a step before god takes you to a higher step so the earlier you start the better first of all god had to build gideon confidence by showing him signs that i'm with you then he had to take a further step by, by, by gathering people. Then he had to take another further step to reduce the number of people before he had to go out there. You have to do the things in God. Because some people, when God showed them who they are or called them who they are, you just go out there and start bragging, this is who God has called you to be. But you don't have the direction. You don't have the map. You still need to be in direct contact with God. You still need to keep following God to show you he's your creator. He knows what to put on the inside of you. Human beings cannot show you what God puts inside of you, except they are being led by God. You need a personal relationship with God because your identity is in God. Your identity is not what the word calls you or whatever you are even calling yourself right now, except God has shown it to you that this is who you are. So identity in the marketplace is a very big deal, especially in this generation. And this is just the introductory aspects. Ready to continue this in the next video. I want you to subscribe. I want you to like this video. Share with your friends. Share with your younger ones. Because we all need to get it right in God. Especially this season. If you are going to unleash that creativity. If you are going to be a pro um, solution provider to problems in the world. You need to get it right in God. Right? So I'm going to stop here for today. And I'm going to encourage you to subscribe, like, and please share this video with everyone around you. I remain Gabby. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.